Balder, the main antagonist of God of War 2018. The outright furious, mother-hating man that cannot feel any pain magically or physically. But how well do we really know Balder? Well, pull up a stump, grab a cup of mead, and let's go over 13 amazing facts you didn't know about Balder in God of War. And if you did know all of these amazing facts about Balder, hit the like button for being one hell of a God of War fan. And if you did learn something new about Balder in this video, hit the like button anyway because you're just f***ing awesome. Balder is the youngest god that Kratos has ever killed in the God of War series. According to the book God of War Lore and Legends by Rick Barba, it is stated that Balder is 144 years old during the events of God of War 2018. And 144 years old really isn't much, at least compared to the Greek gods that Kratos has killed in the past, which were thousands of years old. Just like his mother Freya, Balder walks around barefoot. Yeah, you're both nuts. During God of War 2018, we see Balder ride his pet dragon, and Kratos kinda rides him too right after Balder tries to kidnap Atreus. Balder's pet dragon's name is Dagsatter, or at least that's how I think it's pronounced, it's gonna be right here. And he used this dragon to travel throughout the realms and even to Kratos' home in Midgard. At least he did ride him until he had a crash landing around the Lake of Nine. According to the art book of God of War, Balder is around 5 foot 11 and 6 foot tall. Balder, as of right now, is the only god that we know of in the Norse realm that is half Aesir and half Vanyr. Balder in mythology is the father of the god Forseti, and Forseti's mother is the goddess Nana. But unfortunately for Balder in the God of War universe, the curse that Freya put on him that made him not feel any pain physically or magically actually made him sterile as well. So it is impossible for Balder to be the father of Forseti in the God of War universe. Balder throughout the entire God of War 2018 game never introduced himself to Kratos. He was known as the stranger for the longest time, at least till we eavesdrop on a conversation he was having with Mimir, also with Magni and Modi. It was a good thing he didn't look right over the edge of the cliff because uh, he kind of would have found out where Kratos was. Balder was originally never looking for Kratos in Midgard. In fact, Balder was looking for his late wife, Faye, also known as Lafe the Just. One of the Jotuns, aka the Giants, greatest warriors, and the Jotun Guardian. Which, looking at it now, the line that says, I thought you would be bigger, gives a whole new meaning to it. You know, Giants, big, get it. The weakness to Baldur's invulnerability is the same between Norse mythology and the God of War universe, which is Mistletoe. But how he got this weakness is a little bit different between the sources. In mythology, his mother Frigg made every living thing and non-living thing swear an oath to never harm Baldur. Now Freya in God of War casts a Vanyar spell on Balder to give him his invulnerability. And every Vanyar spell has a weakness, and this one happened to be Mistletoe. So going off this last fact, it was Freya in God of War that actually deciphered that Balder would die a needless death. But in mythology, it was actually Balder who dreamt about his early death, and in some sources, him and his mother Frigg dreamt of this. Balder is the second god that Kratos has ever killed that was not out of pure spite or he was just pissed at them. He killed Balder to stop the continual cycle of god children killing their parents. Which Kratos mutters the iconic line, the cycle ends here. Which is a callback to the second god of war where Zeus actually stabs Kratos through the abdomen with the blade of Olympus. And just so you know, the first god that Kratos didn't kill out of spite was Persephone. Throughout the entire game of God of War 2018, Balder never knew Kratos' true identity, and that he continued to think that he was a Jotun or a giant. Balder's final word was snow, right after Kratos kinda gave him a permanent neck alignment, and this very well might have a double meaning. Balder could finally feel something, and his last feeling was the slight chill of a snowflake which probably made him really happy. However, we know from Norse mythology that the death of Balder will start Thimble Winter, the three-year winter which will lead to the final battle, the Twilight of the Gods, Ragnarok. So Balder may very well know this being very close to Odin, and was slightly happy of this because during Ragnarok, Kratos, Atreus, 
and his mother may meet the ends that he really wants. Death to them all. So what did you think about these 13 amazing facts you didn't know about Balder? Or did you? Tell me in the comments down below if you did know all these facts about Balder, or tell me which ones that you thought were your favorite that you did learn. And I'll see you in the next video.